Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Nilly, and today we're gonna be playing Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. Um, this game is kinda well, I can't even say kinda, it's pretty much some of the wars reskinned. It's pretty much what it is. But there is something I did want to talk about. There is only four star rarity is the highest. That's just pretty much it. Not even five star. But you can evolve them to like five star through creatures and apparently this was the pre-register character you get um, he has pretty decent ones he turns an enemy into an outdated android version <laughs> so i guess that just means he's weaker this is what i want to say i can't even look at the debuff that it has on it and it also has this third skill that applies either a stun taunt or a bomb so yeah it's pretty much like summoner wars but like i said reskinned they have a lot more characters i don't know if they change while being evolved though that's the thing i'm curious about and hopefully that it shows yeah i don't think they do when i think about it i have a feeling that they do or is that just like an awakening thing? Yeah, they could be like awakening things. Oh, that actually looks pretty sick. At least that's what I think they are. They do have four different elements. They don't have light and dark from what it seems. But this game just came out, so it's probably still going through a lot of updates. There are still some coming soon features over here. And they do have a summoning right here. So you do have to click the island. You can't just go into shop because shop is pretty much just where you purchase actual things. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's in shop. And here is your coin generator, which you can get every 12 hours. Uh, this pretty much is actual money currency this is normal currency that you use for like upgrading your rooms and stuff like that and yes they do have rooms that you upgrade and match up together so like i said pretty much summoner wars if you've played summoner wars before you can easily get into this game without any issue they do have arena which you unlock at level seven is that my name i wonder if i can change that Oh yeah, you do have a character as well that you can customize and change in any type of way that you want. You can go to female and change their hairs and the colors. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, the outfit, on the other hand, you can't really change the outside look from what it seems. Just says secondary. I guess you can't, actually. Alright, let's go back to green. I can't change my name, thank god. Can I have wolf though? Yep, I can. Sweet. Oh no, his name's already taken? Fine. That name should be taken. Oh, I got it. It was either achievement or a mission. Oh, it's achievement. Rename your hero. So you do have all of these achievements that gives you like a whole bunch of rewards. And as you level up, you also get um, these soul stones, which are pretty much used to summon, which we're going to do right now. Then I'll get into the gameplay for you guys. All right, what does this guy have? I have prevent uh, enemy from resurrecting. I already have a character that does that, but I don't have one that prevents from healing, but that only lasts for like one round, so he's kind of useless to me. Unless I wanted the poison, but I'm not sure how much damage poison does in this game.
So pretty much every character I've seen are kind of useless or can be useful. You just gotta figure out which ones that, that are useful. Prevents them from receiving any beneficials. That could be actually pretty nice. Especially for the startings. Because some of these enemies start to buff a lot. Especially the wolves. And I don't like dealing with them. Alright, who's this guy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got passives as well. Alright, what, what does he do? Okay, so damage is increased based on its own defense. Or like this. Alright, so defense the hell out of that character and he could be really powerful. Alright, here comes that epic. Huh. What does she have? Doesn't seem like your basics have any abilities on them. Gaze a poison now? Oh, so that's pretty much immunity to poison is what I'm getting at. What is this? Attack an enemy, remove three beneficial effects from them, have 80% chance of muting them, blocking their special abilities for one turn. What's up with all these one turn characters? Sabotager, so basically debuffer. So yeah, you can also use your coins to open these, but legendaries are a different thing. Uh, maybe I'll open another one. I haven't really found a extreme use for these yet. Unless I want to save up for like the ones in shop, baby. Haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I would have to do the price in my head. I guess for now I'll just save up and not use it. Because you get quite a bit from all of your like achievements and your daily missions. I do recommend you do your daily missions like pretty much every single day. Just because you can get 20, yeah, 20 of these coins along with probably like four or more from here. Uh, Arena is over here. I don't know what this is. Oh, Magical Shop. And this is the market place. I'm not sure. Please don't add in selling runes. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's going to be so dumb. And then we have guilds. This is pretty much my guild. I am looking for active members. If anybody wants to join also. Wait, what is this? Collector? Features. Ah. I will do that later. But what we're going to do now is just pretty much show you guys the team that I'm going in with. So this guy is the default you start with. Um, I got this character from a summon. I'm pretty sure it was probably a default summon. And this is the healer you get, which is kind of bad in a way. I mean, it takes her for its four turn. I mean, it takes her four turns to get the hill again. I mean, the hill is actually really decent, but once you start getting in the mid difficulties, that's when you're kind of going to need more. But yeah, that's the team where we're going to. But yeah, that's the team we're going to go in with. So I've already like skipped tutorial and all that just to get to here. I am interested in trying out Nightmare just to see how that goes. Let's go in and test it out. I'm probably going to die. These guys are probably like level 20 or 30. This guy is a healer, so get rid of him. Oh yeah, they are definitely going to be annoying. I, I didn't get the paralyzed. Or to, or to slow down, jeez. Can I have this? Okay, there we go.
Oh, I was hoping for the bomb, to be honest. Alright, and now my character's skill has activated. Your character has three skills, one of them that increases damage, one of them that increases defense, and another one that just attacks all, I'm pretty sure. Or, or something different. <laughs> Apparently all of them attack all. It only increases one. kill this dude as fast as possible. Alright. The funny part is that guy has a chance of recovering. It's not like a guarantee, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm gonna save that. I don't think we'll need it. Uh, actually, never mind. Jesus. Ah, uh, that did nothing. Wonder if we can paralyze. There we go. I almost said. Not bad for a low-level team at the moment. But then again, this is only the first wave and we've already taken quite a bit of damage. And the wolves is... The wolves are going to power up and is going to be highly annoying. So, yeah, that's a thing. But I honestly don't want to deal with the healer. Yeah, see, the wolves are like really strong here. They're really strong in uh, mid too. Ah oh, yeah, he's doing a lot less damage now. Which I enjoy to see. His character isn't half bad, but he's also not good. And see, that's what I mean about the healers. And then doing that. Yeah, let's take off some of the damage. His heal's not gonna come back for quite a while. Increase some of that attack. Hopefully I can get the transformation back real soon. Okay, there we go. Let's keep him from healing. Ah, oh, they finally took out somebody. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna survive. <laughs> but we can try. By the way, even if one of your enemies die, there is no, like, um, stars in this game. So, so pretty much in any of these games, if one of your characters die, you lose a star. If you take too long, you lose a star. None of that is in this one. Take all the time you want, and it doesn't matter if an ally dies, you still pretty much complete the stage. Which is something I like. And I didn't get my increase, so I guess that's a chance also. Which is kind of annoying. I want to have all my stuff ready for next round. Which I'm sure we're not going to live through. But I would like to think that we would. Come on, don't attack him. Attack my buddy here. I still don't get why these characters don't have, like... Oh, Jesus. 
I just don't get why these characters don't have like certain effects on their normal attack. Here's the boss, which I'm going to die to. Oh, never mind. I'm going to die to the wolf, apparently. <laughs> oh, he resisted. Yep. He's pretty much like a hellhound. And that's just pretty much death. Jeez. So yeah, I gotta be like at least level 20. Oh uh, no, I do not want to do that. But apparently you still get your XP for how far you made it. Which is actually pretty nice. And you still get a reward for everything you collected. Which you really don't see many games doing. Which I actually kind of like a little bit. Apparently you can get an arcane bird from this place. Okay. So this place is dexterity. So I'm pretty sure this place is defense if it's ice or resist. They do have a story that you guys can go through. Oh no, this is strength actually. This is just all attack, which I am in need of for some of these characters. So yeah, let's do this. Then we'll do arena match. Which actually, yeah, there are a lot of people in the arena that can that pretty much out level you. Like I've been matched up with twenties and I've only had like level thirteens. But yeah, at the moment I'm enjoying this game way more than I have with Summon of Wars, just because Summon of Wars Oh boy, where do I begin? One, and the most crucial thing is, their summon rate sucks for natural fives. I don't know if it's changed or anything, but yeah, when I was playing, those natural fives were like extremely rare. Like, I would get it if it's just like, you know, now and then rare, but those things would never show up. It, it, even if you see him in like the feed, it would just be like, oh, that's cool. That guy got lucky. It's pretty much what would go on there. All right. Pfft. Enough ranting about some of the wars and their freaking BS summons. <laughs> All right, let's go to arena and do an arena match. See if we can set something up. It's actually pretty dumb that I can't use my... Um, Android character in here so you can use certain characters In here which is like I said annoying I Wonder if I take him off the favorite list does it work like that? Nope <laughs> But yeah, it's very unfortunate that I can't use it in there. I already did like uh, a few of them, but I mostly just left the matches just because people outleveled me and I was trying to finish my daily. I don't really care about ranking. Yeah, see? That is exactly what I mean. Like these people outstar me and outlevel me. So, yeah, Arena's kind of not the best at the moment. As long as you can outlevel people, then you should be good. Uh, this would be a somewhat even match. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll attempt that if anything. So, arena is not auto. You can use your attacks. Alright, who's up next? Alright, so dim down. Oh, he took that off. Alright, he regens. So I might level this guy up, since he does regen, like, every turn. Like, that could actually be extremely useful. And if they do have, like, life steal runes, that would be perfect. 
Even though his uh, second skill kind of sucks. Oh. Alright, who do I want to get rid of first? Whoa, okay, this unicorn thing? Yeah, okay. Well, we might have to get rid of him first. Jesus Christ. Alright, am I going to get my ability? Okay, cool. That unicorn actually flushed up for him. I'm not even mad. But it's gonna take me some time to get down arena and see what everybody's running get used to the characters know what they have definitely gonna be a fun experience on that definitely gonna be playing this game for quite a while I don't think I'm gonna leave it anytime soon at the moment do I see something I don't like which eh, doesn't really seem like the factor at the moment except for PvP where I I'm going to have a hard time trying to find people I can actually fight. But then again, I do have to just level up everything. Alright, what achievements do we have now? Okay, cool. So I can't put everything into my Android character. I have to put it into other things too. But the removal of three beneficial effects are is nice but that five turn to reuse is kind of dumb which makes me not want to use her i'll use this for like any poison bosses or something so i will keep her if i can get to the runes that give the whole defense thing i will definitely start working on this character but at the moment, I'm going to have to start working on this character just because he has an AoE and a double tag. And plus, he has a lower cooldown over here too. I could use the Knight just to tank it out, but I don't think that would help at all. I could work on my Archer here just for later things. I wonder what you have. Inflict great damage, chance to attack again. So that could be nice. Oh, attacks an enemy with an attack increase based on your speed. Huh, it has a good chance of decreasing the enemy's speed too. So that's actually pretty nice. All right, I already seen you. Chance of decreasing their critical chance preventing them from being revived so with all these characters that have prevent revive I'm pretty sure there must be a lot of healers that have revives apparently is what I'm getting at like there shouldn't be that many counters to revive sounds like that might be an issue in the game apparently attacks an enemy and increases their chance of receiving a crit attack Right, that could be nice for like a crit creature if I had one. If I had a creature that desperately needed it, I could team it up with him. Yeah, we already seen you. So, hmm. Kind of aiming towards this little guy here. Yeah, we're going to level him up. Now, we could rank him up if we have all the materials, right? Oh. We use the character. Okay. So, yeah. Obviously. You can also evolve him. So, he does go... T okay, so it is pretty much like... Different evolutions. 
Interesting. I don't know where to find these yet, though. So I'm gonna have to look for those. Skills you get out of option. Does this change any? No? Still the same? Just increased damage. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using him. He seems pretty interesting. And it turns out that you can level up their skills with these resources as well. So you don't need to get duplicates, which is also extremely nice. So yeah, you can actually up these up pretty easy if you can find all these resources and these magical books, which I'm pretty sure will be pretty rare or somewhere around. Do you evolve? That's what I'm curious about. What do you evolve into? Huh, okay. Oh, I already got a couple of materials for you. So, you'll be up there sooner or later. What about you? Ah, not much for you. Oh yeah, we're already seeing your evolutions. Wait, does this guy evolve? No way. Oh, Max Evolution. Okay, fine. I was actually pretty curious of what he would evolve into, but then you guys shut me down with that. That's what she looks like when she's evolved. Um, what did she get out of that? Oh, wait. Hold on. Is this the main skill? I think we do get effects. We just gotta evolve. Yeah. Never mind, guys. My bad. My bad. I Like I said, I'm still new to this game. Uh, your basics do get, like, effects added on. You just gotta... You just gotta evolve them. Then you get these. Actually, that's actually interesting. Increase base on their crit damage. So if I build this guy crit damage, that would be pretty good to team up with this guy? Or this guy? Yeah, this guy. If he actually gets it, though. Look at me just going into strategies. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is your um, refill on crystals. Apparently, these are Dragon Utopia. I guess they're Dragon Utopia coins. Or Dragon coins, whichever one. Oh, no. They're, they're seals, I think. I have no idea. <laughs> And here's the event page. Uh, you can get a four star if you do all of these missions. Oh, yeah, you can get a four star if you do all of these missions. Where are the missions? Oh, collect a hundred. Oh, Jesus, you're gonna need a lot. So, yeah, get started, guys. You're gonna need a lot of those. You gotta summon that many. That's insane. They also have quests like this that you can get a legendary stone from. As long as you... Whoops. As long as you just follow the list. How many have I done now? Done six? Alright, I still have a lot more to go. Do all my dailies as well. So yeah, you can actually get a legendary stone if you guys do that as well but yeah guys that's pretty much all i'm gonna show you guys hope you guys enjoyed try out the game if you guys enjoyed or like how it is or if you're just a fan of summoner wars looking for a second game or just looking for a replacement either one till then peace out